Good day. Um, a few weeks ago, I was going through the book of Job. It's a, it's a long book. It's the, uh, probably one of the oldest books in the Bible, uh, just before uh, the Psalms. There are some 40 odd chapters. Big long book, but you have time to read slowly through the book of Job. For those who know, it's quite a sad uh, book. It's a lot of suffering, a lot of pain. A uh, long story short, there was this righteous man by the name of Job. He was like the most righteous man on the face of the planet. And God has this conversation with Satan. Satan wanted to test uh, the people of the world. And God says, well, why don't you test Job? Uh, do what you want to do with him. And Satan was like, great, I'm going to mess him up. And God says, yeah, but don't kill him. Uh, and of course, you read through the very first few uh, chapter. Uh, chapters uh, this uh, Satan comes along and he starts destroying Job's property he, he kills Job's uh, children and and Job is really in a really bad place and as you read through the book uh, Job's friends starts coming along with their little uh, wacky theology trying to explain what's going on uh, Job gets complaints from his wife and it's pretty sad but at the very end uh, uh, Job begins to receive the blessing and the joy from the Lord well there's so much to be said, and I'm not going to have time to expound 42 chapters, but I want to give you a few lessons that I've learned as I studied this book uh, some weeks ago. And number one is this. Um, I think it's important for us to realize that there are things that happen in the uh, supernatural that we're not aware of. Right? The conversation between God and Satan took place in the spiritual realm, and Job had no idea what was going on. He did not know that God allowed Satan to torture him. And I think for us, I think as Christians, we need to have this understanding that sometimes things that happen in the supernatural, we have no idea what's going on. So when suffering, when hardship, when the pandemic hits this world, uh, don't try to explain it because you know what? We just don't know what is happening in the supernatural. And obviously, uh, Job did not know what was going on between God and Satan. We do not know what is happening in the supernatural. So that's a very good pastoral advice if we want to, I guess, comfort someone who is in a period of suffering and they want answers. Sometimes we just don't have the answer at all. Another lesson that I learned in this book here is that, you know, bad things happen to good people. Because the Bible clearly said that Job was a, a righteous man. He was a pure man. He was the most holiest man on the face of the planet. And he did not deserve to be a torture. He did not deserve to receive the suffering, but he did. And I want us to understand is that bad things do happen to good people. Just because you're a Christian, just because you place your trust in God, and just because there are verses where it says that God is your provider, and God is your protector, and I get all those verses, but it doesn't mean that we are insulated from suffering. God suffered when he allowed his son to die on the cross. So I believe that in our suffering, God also, who has entered into suffering, understands what we go through. So keep that in mind. If you're a Christian and you're experiencing suffering, don't go that, well, what have I done? Is it a past sin? Is God angry with me? No, it's just part of being human. It's part of living in this, I guess, broken world. And the last thing I want to say here is that, you know what? We need to understand as Christian is that at the very end of the day, we will, we will experience joy. All right, we will experience ultimate joy. There will still be blessing. Because as we read to the very end of this book, I'll take you there at the very, very end in verse 42. Look at verse 12. The Lord blessed the later part of Job's life more than the first. You see that? The Lord blessed the later parts more than the first. He had 4, 000, well, 14,000 sheep. That's a lot of sheep, a lot of lamb, a lot of lamb chops. Uh, 6,000 camels. A thousand yoke of oxen and a thousand donkeys. He also had seven sons and three daughters, etc., etc. This is what I want to say to you. If you love God, if you trust God, you know that at the very end, you will enjoy Him forevermore. That's where you're going. That's how your story is going to end. All right? Not six foot under. No. In the presence of God, enjoying Him. All right? So whatever season you're in right now, if it's hard, if there's suffering, just keep trust in God. Know that God is in control and at the very end you will enjoy God. The joy is yours. Blessing is yours. Alright, hope that has been an encouragement to you. Thanks for listening. Okay, bye for now.